Hey, what's up y'all? It's your girl Couture K and today I'm going to be doing a review. So I'm going to be trying out the new Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. So if you're interested in watching, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into the video. We're going to get into this look like, listen, I'm shook. I'm not even going to lie. Like shook is the perfect word. So let's get into it. So this particular foundation was $36 and I actually ended up purchasing three different shades because I was kind of unsure as to what my shade was going to be. I usually do that when I'm purchasing online. I usually tend to buy more than one shade if I'm indecisive and I don't know what shade I'm going to be. I'm normally about a 410 or 400 in the foundation in the summer. So I think my winter shade is like a 395 or 390. For this particular foundation, I ended up being the 385. So that color worked perfect for me. So your shade might be a little bit lighter in the powder than the liquid. So remember that when you're picking your shade. This is what it looks like. It has a mirror right there. And this is where the actual sponge goes. And then you flip it and there you have the foundation with another mirror right there at the top. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the demo so I can show you all how I applied it and this nice and natural everyday routine that you can actually do at home with the powder if you decide to get it or with any other powder for that matter. This is gonna be basically my powder foundation routine as well and it's also a great, like I said, everyday look, nice and natural and cute for any occasion. I am going to go ahead and go in with my concealer first. Love it. So my fave. It's definitely my fave. So this is my Fenty concealer and this is in the shade 385. I like to basically go in and conceal because sometimes when it comes to working with powder you don't really want to put too much like liquidy textures over a powder. And as you can see I already just brushed my brows up and I actually concealed underneath my brows as well and I'm doing that new you know it's it's crazy how the natural look is actually a brow trend now, but it's kind of like that laminated look. I used a little bit of gel and brushed my brows up and then I went in with the concealer underneath and above just to give it a little bit more definition and to make it look a tad bit sharper than normal. Kind of gives it that freshly threaded look or freshly waxed. So for my lighter concealer, I'm going to go in with this Born This Way, and this is in the color Warm Sand. I'm just going to place a little bit of that right here in the corner of my eye just to brighten things up a bit. And then I'm going to blend it kind of outward, not too far, but I want to make sure that is concentrated right here in this area and sharpening up my nose for a nice like natural looking um, nose contour. Perfect. And I have a deep swoop here, as y'all can see. So I wanted to make sure I covered that because I always get makeup on my hair and it's so hard to get out, especially if you have like gel and stuff in your hair. I hate that. Okay. Why am I smiling? I can't help it y'all happiness from within now I'm gonna take my pro filter um, setting powder but I'm taking this and this is in banana so I'm taking a little bit of that on my sponge oh my sponge is kind of what in the world I'm gonna turn it on the other side because this got some nicks in it I don't know how Just thought this was new okay dabbing it on the back of my hand like this just to get rid of the excess and then I'm going in to sit under my eye. I love the smell of this powder. It 
and I'm setting everywhere else lightly. Okay. So now for the moment we've all been waiting for, we're going to take the star of the show and we're going to apply it with this sponge. And I got this sponge from Target. Um, it came in a two pack. So this is one of the other ones. And I like to use it because it's kind of firm and it's easier to work with rather than using the sponge that comes in the pack. It's a little bit small and thin. So this gives me a little bit of dimension, you know, to work with. So I'm taking some of the powder, just like that. And then I'm gonna place it on my face. As you can see, I got a little scar there from a pimple that came about a few days ago, but it's gone now, but it's a spot. So we're gonna take that in Try to see if it's gonna cover everything without, cause I didn't conceal or anything like that down here. So let's see how much coverage this bad boy gives. I'm just gonna read the description on the Fenty website to let you all know what this foundation claims to do and all of the details. This particular powder is buildable. It has light to full coverage. And it says that it is long wearing crease resistant and light as air. So it also says that it has no flashback. It has the blur filter complex to deliver the ultimate blurred finish. And it's sweat, humidity, and crease resistant, buildable, like I said, and it won't settle into fine lines, clog pores, or cake up. And it reduces the appearance of shine and it comes in a chic portable powder compact that fits in your hand and the compact is actually really nice i really like the packaging fenty beauty always kills it with their packaging and they definitely think about the consumer they think about who's buying their product and what is going to be convenient and easy for us i kind of went a little overboard and uh, started putting powder up here i don't know why i did that and I'm doing the exact opposite of what I said because you see that and it already looks weird. That's why I don't really like doing liquids and creams over powders, especially after I already said it too. But it's all good. It's all good in the hood. It's not too shabby. <laughs> okay, so now I want to go in and contour a little bit. Um, I'm going to do, see, I was going to do this espresso, but this might not work. I'm going to do it lightly. Bam, that's it. Bam, that's it. <laughs> the dramatics. Okay, lightly blend that out, and then I'm going to take Coco Naughty and go over it. All right, so we're gonna take some Coco Naughty and go right in that area. Fit and go in my crease as well. I love to just do put this in my crease just to darken it out a little bit. A little bit of liner on. And this is the Scorpio liner by Juvia's Place. So these are some pretty couture lashes I'm going to be using. Not using my 25 millimeters. Um, just, I don't know. I'm starting to get back into the natural thing. I definitely went through the big lash phase. Not saying that it's all the way over, but I, I just love how it looks. It's just a doll look. Perfect for photos, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, to each his own. But I, I like it. Some people don't. Some people think it's this growing girl's like, girl, you like you about to fly away. Well, I'm flying. Nothing on this brush, really. Okay. 
Oh, I'm with all the drama when it comes to makeup, okay? Don't do drama in real life, but I'll do it with some makeup. Honey, this natural look, you can just leave it like, let me do my lip gloss. I keep forgetting. You can just leave it like this. I'm going to add this. This is a Fenty. This is a Fenty Pro Kisser lip balm, luscious lip balm. And this is in the color, what color is this? I forgot. Latte Lips. And I'm going to add a little bit of Latte Lips. And then I want to top it with a little bit of Buxom. Y'all know I love my Buxom. But this is such a pretty color. So nice and natural. Perfect. I like it. But I do have this Buxom lip gloss. They just sent me this. And this is in their BFF collection, I think. And this is their color Girlfriend. And it has a little shimmer. And it's kind of similar to the shade almost. But I'm going to just add a little bit on top. Just for a little shimmer. And a little bit of plumping effect, too. Because y'all know I love it. And that liner went well with it, too. I'm going to add a little bit of Moscow Mule, and I have not used this in a minute. I'm going to take a little bit of that and put it on my cheeks. Such a pretty color, like a nice, pretty, like, copper, rose, goldish tone. Very nice and natural. A little bit on my nose. Just a little bit. And then... Yeah, that's that. I love this. Nice and natural. Or you can amp it up a notch and apply the lashes and liner. So I'm going to add a little bit of liner just to prevent my lashes from looking crazy just gives me a little line as to where i want to put the lash so i'm taking this and i'm not doing a cat eye or anything like that just adding that one line to the top of my lash line Okay, liner, check. These lashes are really cute too. A little more subtle than the 25 millimeters. And I think they just look really nice and natural. They have the wispy effect. And they're my faves. I forgot all about these actually. They're pretty much the same on both ends. something going on over here I don't know what it is like it is it doesn't want to stick okay there it is with lashes without lashes so you decide as she hand okay so we got lashes on you know kind of gives you a little more oomph and you know, adds a little bit of spunk to your look. So, that's it. I'm really liking it. I don't know. I don't want to get on my lashes. Light, light spray, not a lot, because I don't really need it. You know, with. Woo! Jeez. I to kill myself. But, you know, with um, with most powders, sometimes you feel like you have to add a spray or like a fix plus or something like that. I don't even think that was, it's not even needed. Not even needed. I was loving this. I was so, so scared about trying this because I've been using a lot of different stuff on my face, a lot of medication on my face, and it has been peeling and stuff like that. Then I started using something new and it made it peel even worse. I was like, my skin it might be too dry to try this powder, but 
the last couple of days it has been doing really great. So my, this actually came, was it yesterday? Came in the mail. Finally, <laughs> I woke up. My skin was nice. It wasn't too dry. It was perfect. So this was amazing. This is my new favorite foundation. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna wear it for a few hours and make sure, you know, it doesn't like really get oily or anything like that because you know, we hate that, but I don't think it will considering I wear their hydrating foundation already. And you know, it, it really does me well throughout the day. So I usually come home, I have a little bit of shine, but it still looks nice, you know? So I must say I'm absolutely loving the foundation and how it looks. That it ended up being very lightweight and I really don't even feel like I have anything on my face. It doesn't feel cakey or anything like that. So thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.